the blessing that he gave me to end up in Congo. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't come to Congo. Tell the story. Also, I want to thank my family, uh, my beautiful wife, over there with the camera, I think she's filming right now. Um, my three daughters, um, Abel, Lexi, and Danielle. Um, my son, Adam. And my three grandsons, Levi, uh, AJ, which is Adam Jr., and Ezra, which is his birthday with Justin. So we are just want to say happy birthday. Um, my story, my journey. Sports was a family thing for us. My son, I had three sisters that were on the board. All three of my sisters were athletes, great athletes. They ran track, played basketball. Um, my, my way of growing up, I, I played basketball, football, and baseball, and ran track. Um, most people in my hometown of Northern Virginia would say that my best sport was baseball. But unfortunately, um, when I was growing up, we watched no football on TV, no basketball, and baseball wasn't on TV as much. And I just ended up going into football and basketball. I wish I wouldn't play baseball though, because I was actually a pretty good baseball player. Um, and congratulations to you. Congratulations. So, <clears throat> Frank Dent, Frank Dent, who is um, all American here, he played football here at Concord um, years ago. So I originally committed to the University of Richmond. Uh, one thing that Rob didn't tell you, me and Rob actually took most of our visits to go play high school football together. And we were the only two on our team that made all district all the time, playing all region, all metro, all state. Um, and he was all American in the track. I didn't have that. But I played basketball, and the basketball team was the state championship. And I tried to the state championship. So we had a we come from a lot of good athletes in our high school and in our, in our hometown. You guys heard of the Tiki and Rondé Barbers and Troy Daniels and just, just a name of three, George Lynch. Um, people that we all good friends with and we love them. Um, so, <clears throat> Frank then, um, I went to University of Richmond. University of Richmond changed coaches. And so the, um, the coach that was recruiting me um, had moved on. Um, so I was kind of in the shambles. I was like, which way I do? Because I had done everything in the University of Richmond. I went up there, took five, six visits. I had my, I already had sweatsuits, I already had my tutor, um, had my jersey number, had my position. I was going to actually play free safety. Um, I was going to wear number 47. There's a guy named Taylor Lackey who was wearing number 47, who was a senior, who was a really good player. And I kind of wanted to get um, him play again. That didn't work out. Um, so Frank Penn came to me, a lot of schools tried to sign me. Frank Penn came to me and he said, hey, why don't you come to um, take a look at Concord, a small school, um, but you'll like it. One thing about it is the family, we're in the school, it's, it's traditional. Um, the football team was great. They won a lot of games, a lot of good people I knew when it comes to We had two coaches that went to Concord. That was in my house. At that time, it was Coach Smith and Coach um, Butch Canton. Um, so, Came here with one of my close friends, Mike Boyd, a guy named Howard Tucker, and I just loved him. Um, probably met Coach Cox probably when I had my visit, because Coach Cox is always around the campus somewhere. Um, so that's how I ended up at Compton. So I said, all right, you know, I'll go here. But one thing I wanted to do, I wanted to play basketball and play football, because I played basketball and football and both sports a long time. Uh, I'm going to shorten this part of the story. So Coach Williams, who was the athletic director at the time, um, I kept asking him to get up play basketball. And I played in the middle of basketball, and we had the captains of my fraternity basketball team. And um, I actually was a pretty good basketball player. Some might be different, but I, I was a pretty good basketball player. It's a massive played here. I played against him in high school. Me and him were really good friends, and um, that's just so cool. So we wanted me, they wanted me to play basketball. So I stayed some, I came to summer school and, and played some basketball with the team as well, and did well. Anyway, I was really let me play because I, I did pretty good with football. Um, college choice, talk about that. My life at Concord. Concord, for such a small school, um, and, but it's so traditional, a lot of loving people. One thing I remember is that in the cafeteria, our cafeteria moved when I was here like four times. I don't even know where it is now. But it's, it's, all, it's been everywhere from one dorm to Room to downstairs, and so. But the thing that I always loved about it was that the hospitality was great. The people were wonderful. They loved what they do. They treated us so well, um, and I really enjoyed it. So 
that part of it was great. Um, my wife was getting it, but sneaking in the girls' dorm was pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> but then Rob did it more than I did. <laughs> and um, quick story about that one time, because he was on academic, not academic, but he was on probation and couldn't go into the student, into the student union um, to play pool. We couldn't come in here. So he was on, on full restrictions. That's what I don't know if they still have that now or not, but I wasn't on it. So what he would do, he got caught in the dorms, and they, you know, they, and they'll say, "Hey, Rob, what are you doing in the dorms?" And no, it's Forrest Irvin. It's not Rob May. <laughs> so I ended up on full restriction, and they didn't do anything wrong, <laughs> only because he used my name, and they didn't, they didn't know. So it's kind of a crazy story. Um, Concord teammates and coaches. Some of the coaches I just want to recognize: Coach Williams, Coach Pinter. Um, Coach Tibbs, Coach Mullet, um, Coach Bowles, who was a really good friend of mine. I talked to him, um, rest of so I talked to him and, um, over the years. And one thing I missed is him being here because he was probably one of my biggest fans. I mean, he'd tell all kinds of stories and he used to always say, if I was ever in a, in a situation I needed some support, needed some backup, I'd call you for my money. So, um, great guy, I'll miss him. Just want to shout out to those guys. Um, light playing on the field. We played some really good teams. We played some um, not so good teams. We won the conference. I think it was like three years. Tracy was two. I played one year without Tracy. Um, and the one thing that we always had, we had number one defense in the nation for years. And we had the best secondary. I still would put our secondary up against any secondary. I mean, in essence, I signed University of Richmond. Rob and Nipsey were supposed to go to Virginia Tech. We actually went to Virginia Tech on the group business together. And I know Trace, Trace was a Division One prospect as well. So we all, all three of us were Division One prospects that came to Concord to his home team and they sailed. So it was great. Playing on the field, one thing I can always say is that me, Trace, and Rob always support each other. As they said, um, unique story. I, ran, I got ran over a couple times in my career, only a few times. <laughs> One guy from Concord, and a lot of the older guys remember him, named Lane Lowry. Lane played fullback. Lane, and I was a freshman. And, um, and I had a chip on my shoulder, because again, I thought I was supposed to be in a big school, so I blocked. So I had a chip on my shoulder, and, and Lane, he played tailback in high school in Florida, but he played fullback here. His thighs was huge, and I think probably 250, 260, he was only like five times. He was a ball, just a massive ball, and had good speed. So as a freshman, I knew I had to get strong because Lane would come in the middle and we're practicing. And when he's running through the lane, he would actually scream and yell while he's running towards me. It was kind of intimidating. I was like, I mean, this is how it's falling. Who is this rough? But I got in the weight room, got stronger. Um, lane ran over me one time, and, uh, and that was the end of that. And he never ran over me again. We kind of still made the rest of my career and his. And then we had another guy that played um, at Salem College. I think it might be Salem something else now. He played at Salem College. He came from either Florida or Florida State. One of Bobby Bowden's guys, and he played for Rich Rodriguez. That guy um, played tailback the first half, played nose guard the second half, about six feet, about 260, 270. So he came through the lane and he was getting a lot of yards on the team. We were actually going to lose the game. And, um, and he ran me over. And so Tracy and Rob came to pick me up. And they said, hey man, just hold on to him and we'll help you out. And I said, it's a big boy. <laughs> big boy. And he can run. So he kept coming through the lane. Nobody, nobody was tackling the holes were wide. Um, the next time I came up, I said, okay, I'm just gonna give it everything I got. Came up on him, hit him, we kind of stealth made it, and then they came, we tackled him. Next thing I know, he's on the sideline, he's got a sling on his shoulder. I guess I might have hurt his shoulder somehow. And, won the game. But without him getting hurt, we would have lost that game. I think he would have had 100 and some yards for his head. So, yes, so life plan on the field at Concord, great teammates, great support. Um, you know, big hits are just a part of Even in practice, um, I had some unfortunate situations where, because I would play so hard sometimes, played a little too hard, a little bit too intense. In practice, I heard a few of my own players who tell me all those stories, but but, um, but I would just focus and love the game so much. And I was just so driven and, and very intense. Um, we had to tell the back. Professional Spring Football League, me and Tracy, 
Um, shout out Dale is Dale Baker sitting over there, he's all the famer. He's sitting over there, he drove us down. I think it was me, Tracy, Brian Ham. Uh, we, we drove us down into the trials and the trials went well. Um, but the league ended up folding before I got to play, so I didn't get to finish my continue playing my career. Major accomplishments. One thing that I really appreciate, which is a, it's really small, but it was it was used to me. After my first year, I decided to, I was gonna go to a bigger school and transfer. But Coach Williams called my mother and my father, convinced them to uh, get me to come back. And my biggest issue, which was really silly when I was a kid, which I wanted single digit numbers. And we only had, we started at like 10 and on the, at that time, Conquer had like the jerseys, they were white, and stripes, and they was like that. So I saw a player that played for Auburn, who I, I kind of emulated and kind of uh, admired, and he had number four, so I was one of number four. So that, new soda pads, new helmet. So coach called my parents and said, hey, we got four stuff, and we got, we got the numbers, we got this, we got that. We just wanted to come back. And my mother being very convincingly, um, very convincing, decided to convince me to come back. And so I'm glad she did. I'm glad Coach Williams called because I, I you know my, my graduation here, this is the place I love. I don't think I would have done, I would have had as much success and had such a big family, extended family after Conflict if I would have came here. Because like Tracy said, we still touch. You know, there's about probably everybody in this room at that table from Katrina to Dale to Andre to Paz to Jaime, you know, a lot of us, we still text, we still talk, we have events, we meet each other for different events, we're doing the tailgate all together today, um, you know, we just, we, we stay on top of it, and the great thing about it, that, that bond will never break, it's been going on for ages, and we all up in the 80s a little bit now, um, so I just wanted to be thankful for that, and just say I want to thank everybody for that, and thank you for my good friends. Um, one thing I want to leave everybody with is accountability, sharing, caring, praying, believing, supporting, and loving. And some of the words, some of the courage I want to give everybody. And thank you to my family again for 